Yo, what's up? It's Carter on here today, back at it again with another video. Today, I'm going to be going through a no BS guide on how to actually deal with burnout. A couple uh, years ago, I started a company and it failed, some things happened, and I hit a very low point in my life. It wasn't just burnout I was dealing with, I was also dealing with a lack of motivation, um, an inability to sleep, and an inability to deal with my emotions surrounding the closing of my company. Uh, and my goal for this video is to help you guys be able to know what to do if you hit a period of burnout for whatever reason, which I recently also hit a period of burnout, but it was kind of different. I was trying to get work. I couldn't get any, but that's a little bit different. So the first thing is uh, subscribe if you're new. Uh, before we actually get into things, I want to, to let you guys know that I make tons of content about this every day of the week. Uh, at least that's the, that's the goal. Um, every day of the week, I try and make... Um, videos to try and help uh, you to live a better life. I also do acoustic guitar covers, electric guitar covers, music stuff is also located on this channel. But right now, my biggest thing is self-help and trying to help you to live a better life, better fulfilled life. Uh, it's, it's, it's a really good thing to subscribe to channels like this because it can really help you out and I want to help you out. Um, Anyways, yeah, that's just all I was going to say. Just subscribe, like, comment, share if you're new. I, I appreciate it. It really helps out a lot. Anyways, um, with that said, we will go ahead and start talking about how to deal with burnout. So my game plan when I deal with burnout now is, and this has changed, this has changed from what I have had before. This is new, and I'm going to be documenting my experience trying these tips. But the first thing is to respond right. The first, the way that you respond really is if you hit burnout, you want to contact your clients and let them know that you're out of business. Don't just ghost them. Don't do that because I've done that before and it can ruin your client relationship and, and the amount of gigs that you get and things like that. If you tell them that you're going to be out of office, you don't even have to say why necessarily. They just, they know. And, and so they are expecting it and they're still going to expect to work with you once you get back. So if you can just take that first step and contact the clients that you already have and tell them, Hey, I'm going to, I'm off, off work for a little bit out of office, whatever you want to call it. I'm sick, what, whatever you want to say. If you just let them know, that's how, that's winning half of the battle right there because you have some understanding from them, hopefully, and hopefully their business will return to you. And I think it's more likely to if you tell them what's going on. The second thing I'd say to do if you start to hit a period of burnout because it's so easy to eat junk food when you are burning out, which I'm struggling with right now, hardcore. I went to Aldi's and bought like a bunch of chips. Anyways, point is, Eat healthy and drink water. Eight, eight ounce cups of water. Write that down. Um, a lot of water can help. And uh, eat healthy foods like vegetables, you know, meats like uh, chicken, um, fish. If you can, and you, you know, you can have rare meat or red meat on rare occasions or medium rare occasions. Just not on medium, not on well done occasions. That's that's wrong. Anyways. <sighs> My stupid steak joke aside, um, find something valuable to do. That's going to be my third step. Find something of value to work on. This could even be Minecraft, okay? You could start streaming yourself playing Minecraft, and you could still be doing something productive while you're doing the other stuff, okay? Or while you're waiting on doing the other stuff that you really need to get done. So try to find something of some sort of value, whether it be... Um, filmmaking or whether it be writing or whether it be vid playing video games and streaming it on Twitch or YouTube or whatever. There could be money in some of that stuff. So go ahead and try some of that. And then the the last tip I wrote down, and this is just if nothing else works, if nothing else, use it to distract yourself until you're back. Just distract yourself. Use this burnout to say, okay, I'm going to get caught up on Loki season two. That's what I'm getting caught up with. Con caught on up with. Don't tell me what happens in Loki season two, please. Anyways, I'm I'll watch through that right now. Um, but that's really it. Just find some things to distract yourself. And, and if you hit burnout, listen, burnout is so common. It is it is something that everyone deals with. And I think as we grow up, we get dealing with it better. 
Um, but that is really it. So go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share if you're new. I really appreciate it. Also, um, we, I have a Patreon. So if you check in the link in the description below, there is a Patreon, which if you don't know, that is a site where you can pay your favorite content creators to get perks and benefits and extra content. And that's what you'll get with mine. A lot of extra content I'll be posting on there all the time about what I'm actually doing this week. You guys will be very well informed and there will be a lot of great benefits to come with pledging on Patreon and it starts at $5. So uh, the other thing is Owen Co Studios is also going to be linked down in the description. And uh, that is my filmmaking YouTube channel. So that's really good uh, fun side projects that I do. I, I put them on Owen, Owen Co Studios. Um, and then the last thing really is just to type on in, in the comments or type on social media, tag me in a post and using the hashtag never giving up. Hashtag never giving up. I will repost your tweet or your Instagram at or whatever, whatever, where, whatever social media site you're using, I will repost it and help you get some sort of an audience. So that's it. That's all I really have for this video. I appreciate you guys watching. Um, and with that said, I will see you guys later. Peace.